Hello and welcome to another update video about SUI. Yeah, on the SUI chart, we're dealing still with this upside move and the expectations are still for the price to move higher. Overall, this is the daily chart, the long-term chart that I'm providing uh, regularly. Um, in these videos, we focus mainly on the short term, but overall, yeah, this is a chart that I already uh, communicated. It is our long-term chart <clears throat> for SUI. We can't really look out any further than these five waves, right? But um, the idea would be, there's, this is either the yellow wave count, so A, B, and we're now in the C wave, but the C wave hasn't really clearly formed five waves up yet. Um, so I like to see one more for five pattern, at least it seems likely. Um, visually, I have to say though, it starts to look a little bit like as if this is already five up, but um, it would only be an alternative for now. We've, either way, we have another four or five pattern coming anyway for the bullish case um, to maintain, you know, to follow the white count. But overall, at, at the moment, I can only tell you my current, um, let's say, scenario here that is preferred, is that we have a wave one and a wave two already done. The third wave is likely still unfolding, then we get another four or five pattern, that would be my expectation. That means, in other words, at the moment we are still in wave three of C, or of the larger third wave. And um, the support at the moment is measured based on the length of the internal third wave because that's internal bullish support. I've been tracking this for many, many weeks. We've been constantly staying above it. It is a moving support area which naturally moves with the price. As the price climbs higher, I'm adjusting it. Pretty much moving up the stop for anybody who, who's following this. Um, and there is no sign of a top in place on a major top until we break below 156. Now you could say this is far away now, well it is. That's why anybody who's trading this on the smaller time frame would either need to use support levels that I'm providing on the smaller time frame or you have your own indicators. But please note that technically speaking, this chart isn't gonna flip bearish until we break below 156. So that's technically how deep we have to allow it to retrace. And this is also um, the risk level, okay? So if the risk is too high for you, it can make sense to take some partial profits. It's quite simple, yeah? Um, it's simple trader math, all right? So the further away from support, the higher the risk, okay? It's, it's not the other way. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the higher the risk, you know, if we're deep in support, the risk is low. Okay, um, but now we have an uptrend. So expectations are for this to continue. Next upside Fibonacci levels are $4.29, 556, 853. And um, yeah, I think we can also take a quick look at the shorter time frame. But important is once we get a pullback into this support area, this will be the decision whether this is the internal fourth wave. And then we get another wave five. If the move up reaches 556, it could also be the larger third wave instead of just a C wave because the yellow count indicates that once the C wave is, is formed, it could be a major top. Um, but if it's a third wave, it has to reach uh, 556 at least. So very open to that idea as well. And then we wanna see another four or five pattern, however, but that wave four can take a long time given that it is tied somehow to this wave two. Okay, so price, uh, not, not price wise, but time wise, it can take a long time. And at the moment, sort of at the moment, um, support for this would be around 191 and 281. So we might head back into this region in this wave four, but that's speculative at this stage and depends on how high we go in the third wave. Looking at the shorter time frame, then for SUI, SUI, um, not much to add. I think in the last update, I highlighted to you that the next upside target is 352 on the shorter time frame. And also here in the very short term, we could get one more four five pattern. Again, same game, you know, support is still holding. No reason to be bearish short term. The so trend is still up, the, you know, and it's between 243 and 287 now. And there should be a, another four five pattern in this short term move as well. I mentioned to you in the last video, there is an overlap around 420 different support levels, uh, different um, FIB levels. So there could be some good resistance there. But the next one is 352. That's the update about Sui. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. So I got thrown off there. Just look at the Bitcoin chart. I'm thinking, what? Okay, anyway, um, yeah. please check out the channel membership and 
Uh, also follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye.